remained in Mexico forced vulnerable asylum seekers to live in Mexican border towns while their cases were adjudicated. Pedro Rios is an activist with American Friends Service Committee. He says people in the program face significant danger. We've seen reports of uh, people that have been kidnapped, people that have faced um, abusive situations by uh, Tijuana police or other municipal uh, Mexican authorities, or even worse, where there are sexual assaults that have taken place or even deaths. Rios called on the Biden administration to officially end the program as quickly as possible. Remain in Mexico is just one of two Trump-era policies that limit asylum. The other is Title 42, which allows border officials to turn away asylum seekers without giving them a chance to see a judge. Julian Usner is an attorney with Human Rights First. She says that as long as Title 42 remains in place, migrants will continue to be shut out from the asylum process. The asylum system is far from restored. It's um, Title 42 is still in place. Uh, there is no access to asylum um, at the border. Uh, at, at ports of entry because of Title 42. So there are many, many, many people stranded in danger in Mexico. A separate lawsuit filed by red states forced Biden administration to keep Title 42 in place. What happens next for people at the border also depends a lot on what the how the Biden administration chooses to react to the Supreme Court decision. Tess Helgren is deputy legal director of Innovation Law Lab. What steps will they take to truly end MPP swiftly and decisively now that they have the legal ability to do so. Gustavo Solis, KPBS News.